just on a date, basically what you would do is make sure that the guy never talks more than you do. Okay, you can you can talk more than he. That's fine. Make sure that he doesn't talk more. Because if he's talking all the time, he doesn't bond with you. He doesn't get to connect with you. And also, you feel like he's not connecting with you either. So just don't feel obligated. But if you're following the golden rule and you're giving to him what you want, well, you want him to hear you and be interested in you. So you're going to take time to listen and be interested in him. You're going to ask him more questions and more questions. But a part of you is really wanting him to also ask you questions to get to know you. And he's not going to do that. He'll just keep talking about him. And he will not bond with you, and you will not bond with him. And so it kind of goes south. So that's one aspect of that's something you can regulate. Just make sure that you don't encourage him by asking questions to talk more. And when he finishes a sentence, then go off and talk about something else or talk about what he just said. But here's the way to talk about what he said. Is These are three phrases that will transform your dating experience, your courting experience, your marriage experience, your life experience with men, and you should apply them today. One is he's talking along, and you're just nodding your head. And, and before you shift the subject or talk about what he's saying, basically say, use the phrase, good idea. <laughs> it's a simple phrase, but that's a, <laughs> that's a good idea. Good idea. Immediate, immediate you'll watch. And you, you do this all the time with men in and, 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 and intimate relationships and work relationships. If you just say to a guy, whenever you truly feel it, that's a good idea. Well, that's a good idea. Because, you know, you can be going along in a conversation and think that's a good idea, but not realize how valuable it is to say that out loud. The flip side of this is what I tell men all the time, which is, Married men, I'll say, you know, you love her. Why don't you tell her you love her? And say, well, she should already know. And I said, no, just tell her you love her. Several times a day, I love you, honey. It just makes a huge difference to say what's in there as opposed to just feel it or let or know that it's there. So here is your power, is the power of words and femininity. Because when you say that's a good idea, you're coming from this part of you that appreciates. And that's the female side of us. The, another, the next phrase is, well, that makes sense kind of like oh you just put it together oh that makes sense and and mm. the mask the masculine side of a woman might be afraid to even say that because it's competing and you might be thinking well if i say that makes sense and i'm appreciating him uh <laughs> then i'm building him up but that's not what happens that happens between men and men but when a woman says that that makes sense a guy goes okay she's on my side you know she's somebody i want to support back even the most competitive work world, you know, you'll, you'll see many, many women who've made it through the glass ceiling. They're, they're, they're got there uh, by befriending men, and it's often because they're able to, you know, acknowledge those men in a non-competitive way. It's a power that women that women can have, and on, from coming from the pure feminine, which is able to say that's a good idea, or that makes sense. And the third, which you just have fun with this, is, wow, you're right. And you don't have to put the wow there, but that's, that's more expressing <laughs> that feminine emotion, which is, you're right. And a guy, you watch him, watch his posture. He's going to go, wow. He'll, he'll pause. He'll reflect on what he just said. He'll get a little closer to you. And, and this is the dance of, of bringing, bringing men into your life and connecting to your feminine. When you're connecting to your feminine, then you're putting out a presence which is drawing men in rather than pursuing men.